and welcome to Mama Ruth's house. This is segment two of a three-part segment for Mother's Day. We're going to have a couple of them because it's so close to Mother's Day. You can make this for anything, any occasion, but um, I just thought it would be really nice to have for Mother's Day. So these are going to be fruit kebabs, which are zero points if you're doing Weight Watchers. And you can, you'll see that we can do pretty much anything we want and they look so cute. Um, let's get started. I've made a couple so I can show you and then we'll work, we'll work on them together. Okay. So these are the ones I've made so far. Just a cute little heart one and one with strawberries and a kiwi. And then this is a little flower one. So we're going to get started and make a bunch of these. Uh, and we're also going to do some strawberry roses. And you can see those on the plate. They look really cute on the plate. Super festive and easy. You'll see how easy it is. We have two here ready to go for the strawberry roses. And you can make them all different sizes. I prefer to leave the stem, I mean the leaves on the top. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start here, go in and kind of go under. Do three of those petals so that it looks like this. Then we're going to take the spot that you didn't do. See how that's open? And we're going to go up a little higher and do the same thing. Three. So we have those. Now we're going to take and do just a little triangle at the top. Get my. So when you get done, kind of open it up a little and you can put them on your plate. And they look super cute. And easy. I'm all about the easy. All right. We're going to do another one. It's a bigger one, so it might be a little easier for you to see. The same thing. We're going to start here, kind of round it so it kind of comes out. We're going to do three of those. And then the in-between part, we're going to go up a little bit higher and do that same thing. I got to um, and then we're going to just do a little triangle on the top. I think it's easier to see on the bigger one. That's just for added bonus for our little plate once we get done. Now the other ones, we're going to be making strawberry little hearts. And with that, we're just gonna slice our strawberries this way. I, I took off the end, the strawberry end, and see that part at the top? We're just gonna cut a little V in there. So it looks like a little straw, little heart. So I'm going to make several of those so we can get those, have those ready. I usually get rid of that first piece, but you could use it if you wanted to. Eat it for a salad or something later. So I'm just cutting them about this thick, maybe quarter inch, eighth of an inch, I don't know.
few little hearts. I just did that out of two of them. It gets easier as you go. What's the worst thing? You mess up on one and get to eat it. Okay. If we need some more, we have some more ready to cut up. What the heck? All right, next we're going to do some little flowers out of some cantaloupe. And I have these little cutters. I could put it in the where I got these on Amazon. And you just do that. And I'm going to make it some other size ones. They're super easy. They just come right out. Right. Just going to make that many for now. Like I said, we can always make more. I'm going to take some kiwi. I already sliced it up. We did the same, about the same thickness. And I'm thinking the kiwi will make a couple of smaller flowers. He was very ripe, so it's good. You do a heart out of one. It's really, you can make anything you want, so. I think I'll make another heart. So I also used this little round one. Let's do one at a time. And I'll show you how we're gonna, what we're going to do with that. So the round one I'm going to take and at the top, I'm just going to make some little um, triangles. Like the top of the flower. So that's super cute. So I just did the same thing with that one. All right, so we have some things to choose from. I have one more here that's a little larger, so let's just do another flower out of that one. Let's see how we want to do anything, everything at the end. I think we're going to make some hearts out of it. And we'll do some larger flower out of it. Again, we're not going to waste any of this. We'll just eat it later. So if you're worried about having the extra, don't worry because it'll get eaten by somebody.
these weren't very expensive on Amazon and they come in a whole set these little cutters maybe I'll do a little circle one too might be able to get two out of there okay and then we'll do the little triangles in the top you probably be able to see a little better the triangles at the top for the watermelon in the cantaloupe Oh, that looks cute too. So they look just like that. Let's fix this one. And you can't mess them up. You just do it some more. I could see this for any kind of brunch. It would look very cute. So we're doing these. I'm going to put these strawberries aside for now. And then we're going to do the grapes, where you do the heart grapes. It's our extra cantaloupe. All right. So you just take a grape. And you're going to cut your grape diagonally, just like this. And then you're going to just flip this around so it makes a little heart. And we'll put that right on our skewer. And then I like it with the blueberry in between. But you can put whatever you want. And we'll make a couple of those. So again, you just cut it diagonal. And then you slip it around. Flip it around. And there you go. We're going to do three, so we're going to take one more, do it diagonal, and then you're just going to flip your grape around, and there you go with your little heart. And look how cute that looks. I think I'm going to do one more of those. And just flip it around. Diagonal. Flip it around. diagonal and flip it around so those are ready that's just how quickly it goes you can make these sitting at your table and you don't have to do anything it's an easy little cute for a little something special and you don't have to put you can put any kind of fruit that you'd like if you don't like grapes or kiwi or blueberries, you can use anything. And there we go. All right, so we have three of those. Now, we're also going to take some grapes and make them some leaves. We're going to make uh, some little leaves. And so they go on kind of slanted. So you're going to do it kind of at an angle. So it just kind of looks like a little bit of a, and I had some cut up that I'm just going to use. And I think I will put a little one in the middle of the cantaloupe. Maybe a blueberry at the top. Maybe two blueberries. Let's just make it cute. And then I think I'm going to finish it off with a little a heart. That 
kiwi is super ripe, that one's not going to work. And then we're just going to do it like that. It really doesn't matter. You can do anything you'd like. Be creative. I'm going to put some strawberries. I think strawberries and kiwi always go good together. Blueberries in there. Since we already got a heart, let's do a heart watermelon. There you go. Let's do some of the, so the, all we are doing is just cutting it kind of diagonal again for the leaves. And you can get three out of each one. So I'm just cutting them at an angle like that so that I have three little leaves. All right. Now we can just do the rest however we want to do them. Maybe I'll start with a couple of blueberries. Put a little flower. Put another couple of blueberries. And we'll finish this one off with a little strawberry heart. How's that? So that looks cute too. So we can take our, I'm going to put a couple of blueberries on there first. Then we can take our leaves we just made. And again, you're just going to go kind of at an angle so it sticks up. You can put as many as you would like. And we could put a little flower and finish off with some blueberries again or maybe a yeah blueberry see how cute that look let's do one where we do some let's try that kiwi again Kiwi's very ripe on this one, so it's kind of hard to put on there. So we're going to do a couple of those. Maybe we'll put a red heart in there. Strawberry. Now these, you can use any skewers. I've got several different ones. These are flat. So I do it the flat way. They're flat, so then it'll, it'll go through the fruit a little easier, I'm thinking. So then I'm going to put a couple of leaves on there. I don't know why. I always like to do three leaves for some reason. And then we'll put our little flower on top. So that one looks like that. They're all cute. You can do it. You can make anything. So you guys get the gist of it. I'm going to finish these up. This is what we've gotten so far. And then when we do our eggs Benedict, we're going to get everything and put it together on a plate, a platter, a, a little tray, and make it look so cute that you could serve it to your mom or your grandmother or father on Father's Day, um, you know, any holiday or just for yourself when you want to have a little something special.
Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is segment two of our three-part segment for Mother's Day. A Mother's Day brunch, I should say.